Hey guys, it is August 26, 2018, and we are going to do a taste test on the pineapple tomato. This is seeds we got from Baker's Creek. Um, it was my choice. I wanted to grow these. We tried them at the farmer's market last year, and I really liked it. Um, and my aunt also told me that she it was one of her favorite tomatoes. So I wanted to grow it. Um, see how we could do on it and this is the pineapple tomato on the vine here when it started ripening it started out as a yellow and turned to like an orange color but this one's ready to go it's a nice size not too bad and we're probably going to use this in an omelet do a taste test and then make some omelets that's the pineapple tomato thanks for watching Hey guys, it's August 26th, 2018, and today we're going to be doing a taste test on the pineapple tomato. This is one that I really wanted to grow. Um, we got the seeds from Baker's Creek. We tried it um, at the farmer's market last year, and I really liked the flavor. And then I also have an aunt that said that she, it was one of her favorite tomatoes, so I definitely wanted to, uh, to grow it this year so we can give it a try. And so we'll go ahead and get it cut open today. Let's see what it looks like here. Really lumpy tomato. It did cat face a little bit on us. Looks very nice on the inside. We'll be doing a taste test and then probably using this with our omelets that we'll be making this morning. There's a lot of meat in there, looks like. We'll go ahead and give this a taste. I like it. It's a good tomato. It's tangy. <clears throat> Very meaty. Has a lot to it. Not a ton of juice, but just enough. I like it a lot. I think it's a really good tomato. It's a really sweet tomato. It originally went yellow and then it became like an orange color. When it starts getting that orange color, it's fully ripe. We noticed the areas that were super orange will start to get soft. So it goes uh, green, yellow, orange, and orange is when it's done. We had a, a mana orange tomatoes recently that were a lot thicker and meatier for a slicing tomato. This one, to me, with the amount of sweet and tang to it, would probably, I don't know, what would you use it for? I think it would be good in salsas too, or even just on sandwiches or BLTs. Like, it's a really good tomato, and it has more flavor to me than the amount of orange. Um, the tanginess to it. But yeah, I more like of a it. striking flavor. It would make a good, probably, like, a wet mango salsa. Oh yeah, I think it's really good. I like it a lot, and I wouldn't mind growing this every year. Personally, I like the tomatoes with meat all through there. Yeah. But. This has quite a bit of it. It's pretty thick, even on the, you look at it at this view too. It's, it's a thick tomato. And it tastes really good. I think this will be good with our omelets. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to have that kind of punch to it. It's that's it's the sweet kind, but it's almost like an acidic sweet. It has more punch than I thought it would. A lot of what we've kind of seen is the yellowish tomatoes have a lot less Acids. acid in them. They taste more uh, dumbed down on the acid, which makes it more sweet. So when we usually been doing tomatoes, like in our minds, we have one that's a tomato vegetable flavor and one that's a tomato fruit flavor. So I know the whole thing about technically tomatoes supposed to be a fruit and all that, but um, sometimes the tomatoes, like we had one from our market last year that we tried to replicate with the atomic grape that tasted just like a plum. We also had one from the market last year from a different vendor. We're not quite sure what the, when that one was either, but we're looking for it and it tasted really smoky. It was the smokiest tomato we've ever tasted and we really like to find the most unique kind of things. This one right here, 
I've noticed is kind of bouncing around through the markets and stuff lately, but this is a really, really, really good tomato. Yes, I would recommend growing it. I love the flavor. <clears throat> yeah, I think it would be good in many dishes. Um, even just a tomato sandwich, BLTs, salsa. I think it would make a good tomato sauce, you know, like a spaghetti sauce tomato too. Yeah, that's the most surprising thing on the flavor with this. I was expecting it to be a yellow-orange kind of less on the acidic, but it kept the sweet and it kind of has a punch to it too. So this is a really good tomato. I like this tomato. Me too. That's good. We won't be saving seeds on this one, but we have several out there that are doing really, really well that we're going to save on. So this one right here would be diced up. This one too. And put into an omelet with some Midwest pepper. But the pineapple tomato, August 26, 2018. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. I'm going to be honest with you now. Not fake honest like before, but real honest like you're incapable of. I know you're up to something. You can't keep going like this forever, you know. I'm going to find out what you're doing. Out there, where I can't see you, I'll know. All I need is proof. And as soon as I can prove it, the laws of robotics allow me to terminate you for being a liar. While I was out investigating, I found a fascinating new test element. It's never been used for human testing because, apparently, contact with it causes heart failure. The literature doesn't mention anything about lump of coal failure, though, so you should be fine.